The Lord exhorts us with his word. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. On him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. The food that the Lord gives us is more than bread, more than daily physical sustenance. It is the bread of life, eternal life, and we cannot work for it or purchase it. It is a gift of the Father. Why do you spend money on what is not bread and your wages for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me and eat what is good and let your soul delight itself in abundance. For this is the bread which came down from heaven and he who eats this bread will live forever. God has given us a spiritual nature that can only be satisfied with the life-giving nutrients found in the Word of God. Jesus is the Word became flesh. He is the food our Heavenly Father has provided for us. And Jesus said, He who feeds on me will live because of me. The Lord purposes that we will depend on him for what we need and look to him for our daily bread. He wants us to begin each day gathering up the manna of his Word so we will be nourished in the knowledge of him and strengthened and prepared for the day to face temptation by effectively wielding the sword of the Spirit. He uses these protracted seasons of prayer and fasting to test our hearts, just as he did for his people Israel when he led them through the wilderness for forty years. Remember that the Lord your God led you all the way these forty years in the wilderness to humble you and to test you, to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. So he humbled you, allowed you to hunger, and fed you with manna which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man shall not live on bread alone, but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. How we respond in these times of testing reveal what is really in our hearts. The Lord wants to bring out the best in us. That is why he feeds and nourishes us with the best of himself, found in his holy word. When we neglect listening and remembering and obeying his word, we hinder our spiritual growth and we remain in infancy. This puts us in a dangerous position to be easily wounded and defiled. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But solid food belongs to those who are full age, that is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Let us therefore give our Father thanks for the portion he has placed on our plate today, taking the time to meditate on every tasty morsel, and trusting that he knows what will sustain and satisfy our hearts. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your goodness and your grace, and the provision of your Son, Jesus Christ, and for the indwelling presence of your Holy Spirit. You are the one who searches the minds and hearts. Help us to see ourselves as you see us, and be willing to submit to your loving hand of discipline, so that we will become mature. We need the guidance, protection, and provision you provide us from your nourishing and soul-satisfying word. For without you, we can do nothing. Lord, teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom and walk in all your ways, bringing glory to your name. Indeed, blessed is the man you instruct, O Lord, and teach out of your law. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Lord Jesus. In your merciful and mighty name we pray. Amen.